15th annual Canadian Cancer Society, Cops for Cancer Tour de Rock, is now wrapping up its first day. This year's team, including our own Aaron Glazier, set out from Port Alice early this morning and is now making its way down Vancouver Island. CTV's Gord Curvis is traveling with the team once again to help provide our coverage. And tonight, he looks into how the team will stay motivated. They're enthusiastic and eager to go. The 18 riders in this year's Canadian Cancer Society Cops for Cancer Tour de Rock hit the road in Port Alice for day one of their journey. The community sends them off with more than $7,000 in contributions from a seafood fundraiser. Between that and the sunny weather, the team is off to a motivated start. But for each rider, there are more powerful and personal inspirations. We ride in, in sponsorship and in support and in encouragement of our junior riders. And, you know, when these folks are hitting two and three and 800 kilometer tracks and their legs are tired and fatigued, they just need to look down at their bike and, and remember the kids that have gone through so much worse than they have. Catherine Goodyear's junior riders are Kate and Henry from the Sydney area. I'm looking at those anytime I think I'm getting to a point where I'm going to be suffering, I'm going to be looking at those two because I know what I'm going through is nothing what they went through. So that's my inspiration. Today they're attacking the first of what will eventually be more than a thousand kilometers down the length of Vancouver Island. Cheering them on is the team of Debbie and Tom Dempsey. We basically cheerlead on the side of the road there, there's a mascot appearance now and again um, a little bit that we can do to keep them pumped up cranked up and wound up I can't believe where 15 years have gone 15 teams uh, I think over 233 riders as the team reaches Port Hardy they experience the day's first head shavings volunteers giving of their locks to raise funds once again more inspirations for the team this is unbelievable coming to a community like this and seeing a kid who had no idea coming in today that he was going to shave his head and he sees us and he he understands what the cause is and he just sits down on a chair and they shave his head that's just unbelievable over the next two weeks there will be more shavings and more check presentations each one a small step towards helping the riders and the cops for cancer organization towards their goals Ward Kerbis, ctv news on the north island